Hello, hello, good evening, good afternoon, good morning. How we doing? This is Julian's top 10 jokes of the week. This week, it's about household items. As suggested by Colm Bugler, but I'm telling a joke, so if it falls flat on it, it's my fault. Nobody else's. I'm just getting that disclaimer out of the way. Right, this week, we hit 4,000 views for the channel. Woohoo! Woohoo! 4,000 views. Might not seem a lot of fear here, but uh, if you told us right at the start of August before I started all this again, I'd have 4,000 views by now. I was be, I'd be chuffed. So I'd be a bit petty not to be chuffed with 4,000 views now. And so it's the 19th now. I'd like to see come and get to 5,000 before Christmas. We should. That's my target. 5,000 before Christmas. I'd be, I'd be disappointed if we don't, if I'm honest, but that's the target. 5,000 before Christmas. Goody, goody, goody. Household items. That's what we're doing today. Um, I can see I normally pick the topics, but someone suggested one and I thought, you know what? Let's do it. Let's see how it goes. So here we go. You know this score, by the way. Any of these jokes, if you like them, tell us which jokes below the video. Hey, Julian, I really like that joke about... Okay, that's how we do it. If you like these jokes, share the video. Thumbs up sign. Subscribe. We're slowly, slowly climbing with the subscribers, but we want more. We want more, so please subscribe. Like I said in the update the other day, if you've come back and watched at least three of these videos, then I think that means you should subscribe. Okay, right, I've waffled on too long. Let's get the jokes. Household items. I've stolen the grim figure of death's settee accessories. There'll be reaper cushions. <laughs> By the way, the subscribe button is here. I've worked it out. It's here. It's definitely here. I'm going to look a bit of a dick if it's not now, but it's, it's definitely there. If you've watched the last couple of videos, you can see I've been a bit lost. Not sure where, but it's definitely here and I suddenly doubt myself as I do it. But anyway, right. So, you know when um, when people pretend to walk downstairs behind the settee? That's con descending. Things got exciting at the general meeting of the Inadequate Size Chair Society. I was on the edge of my seat. I saw my nephew struggling with a Japanese mattress on the steps. He borrowed from the estate agents. And I thought, ah, he's trying to get his foot on the property ladder. I saw a show, sorry, a trailer on the TV last night for a new show, World's Largest Babies. I think I'll give that a wide berth. Apparently, me buying a flat screen from Bright House is not what the agent meant by comedian with TV credits. When Alexander saw the breadth of his domain, he wept, for there were no more worlds to conquer. That, and he'd stepped on a plug. I'll tell you which rock star liked a good book on the toilet, Lou Reed. I get a sexual high from sticking a toilet cleaning implement up my backside after using KY jelly. I call it my lube rush. Come on, Julian, eh? Think about it. Think about it. And then I'm telling, and then I'm telling this joke. What does Sean Connery, Connery call the beach lifeguard's toilet? A shite for sure eyes. Anyway, yes, no kidding. When I wrote that joke, it was about four or five months ago. I was out on a walk. And I couldn't stop laughing for about three minutes just thinking of it. I hadn't even told it, I just thought of it in my head and I couldn't stop laughing. It's not as funny as I made it out to be, but the pleasure I got from that joke, okay? So I'm going to say it again, actually. <laughs> what does Sean Connery call the beach lifeguard's toilet? A shite for sure eyes. Yes, I can't do the impression, but you've got to sort of pretend to do the impression to do the joke, don't you? Sometimes... I look in the mirror and I think you need to take a long, hard look at your life. And other times, I just snort the line straight off. <laughs> My mother collects thimbles. 
So also collects snare drums. Right, we've just gone pow, pow, pow with the jokes this week. We've got one left, that's what we normally do. We leave one joke till the end. So it's been household items this week. Don't forget, uh, we do the update on a Wednesday. We do Julia's top 10 jokes of the week on a Friday. Now this week, like I said, it was someone else's suggestion. Right, I'm taking responsibility, I'm telling the jokes, I'm not blaming anyone else. But I'm telling you that because if you want to suggest something, comment below. Suggest a topic, and if I think I can do 10 to 20 jokes on it, I will do it. So that would be good actually, it would be good, be interesting, get a bit engagement going. Remember, I want this to be a give and take thing. I want to entertain you, I want you to give us 10, 15 minutes of your time every week, and I want we both to think, you know what, I got something out of that. So that would be that what I'm hoping for. So this was a week we got 4,000 views. Remember, next Wednesday I'm on Board Game Smackdown. It's at 7 o'clock UK time, Board Game Smackdown. Please watch that. I'm looking forward to it. Remember, like, share, subscribe. The subscribe button is just there. Go on. Go on. Now. <laughs> I would like you to subscribe though, please. Okay, right then, here we go. Jude Law said to us, he said, uh, how would I get this smart fridge to remove the ice from the freezer? Say defrost. Oh, don't bring her into it. <laughs> now, when I told that joke 10 years ago, that would have been right de rigueur. But uh, there you go. Household items. I had to find the jokes from somewhere, didn't I? But well, I think we did okay. I think we did okay. So remember, like, share, subscribe. We want to build the subscribers up. Um, updates on a Wednesday, Julia's top 10 jokes of the week on a Friday. But remember, don't mention Scandinavian barcodes.